What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today, I'm gonna talk about how I got a job in tech. I basically, let's see, where are we gonna start? So in college, junior year, I switched colleges and had two computer science roommates. About halfway through, they showed me Free Code Camp and Code Academy. They, they were always talking about tech stuff and I'd always been interested in tech stuff when I was a little kid. My parents would get like a new TV or a new computer or a new monitor and I'd take apart the old one. I wouldn't put it back together because I'd, I'd break it. I'd like pull the computer chips apart and stuff. I just thought it was really cool how everything looked inside and I wanted to know how it worked, but I had no idea. Anyway, I had the computer science roommates. They'd always talk about tech and that kind of got me interested. So I was like, hey, how can I learn this on my own? Because this was halfway through junior year. I'd already done a few marketing classes and it was it would have cost a lot to go start over and just start from computer science classes. So they showed me Free Code Pamp and Code Academy and I kind of rushed through Code Academy's curriculum because I was looking at their careers page and they had code mentors. They basically just answer questions for students and they make like 15 bucks an hour. And I was like, okay, if I can do that, that's not too bad for college pay, hey, $15 an hour. Eventually I could probably transition to some other tech job after I graduate. So I rushed through Code Academy's curriculum. I applied. I didn't do too good on the coding test is I was just reading through the stuff, clicking through. I didn't really learn it because I wasn't really building projects, which is something I think most people need to do to learn code. They will just watch the videos or like code along and follow along. But where the learning takes place is when you're actually building a project on your own locally and you have to Google, how do I pass a click event down in React? How do I make this work? That's where the real learning takes place and that's where you get, get it down. But yeah. I didn't get the job at Code Academy. I kind of got turned on to stocks. So I was like, okay, I can be a day trader. And eventually I graduated college, did this program called Bulls on Wall Street, which was great. I got in their prop firm, which that lets you get around the pattern day trader rule, which we're not gonna talk about that too much. But long story short, I slowly bled out my account and had to get an actual job because I was, I was living at my parents' house and I had enough in savings that I kind of survive with no, like living at my parents' house. I eventually bled out my account and kind of was running out of money. So I got a job at a gym, did that for two months. And I was like, okay, I need to find like a, an adult job because this job didn't have benefits. It was just like, it was basically like I was working at a fast food restaurant, kind of like low pay, no benefits. I needed an adult job. So I started applying for jobs in Dallas, kind of wanted to move out of Shreveport. It was kind of boring. Shreveport's pretty small relative to Dallas. And I knew there's gonna be a lot more fun stuff to do in Dallas. Just, I wanted to come here. And I eventually got a job at a call center working in finance. So I moved over here. I It was fun for the first three or four months because we were the first two months we were working on our Series 7 and Series 63, which are like financial licenses you have to have to work at a brokerage firm. With those, we were just studying. We got to hang out. That was a lot of fun. And then the first month on the phones, that was a lot of fun too because the novelty of having a new job. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna crush this, be awesome. But after about a month, customers being upset all the time got a little old because I'm a people pleaser. I like making people happy. I need to fix that. Having customers call where I couldn't do anything to help them out stressed me out and it just wasn't the best job fit for me. So I was like, all right, what do I need? What can I do besides this? And I thought back to Code Academy and Free Code Camp from college. I was like, all right, well, if I do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that's something where I can kind of build a portfolio and show employers, hey, I can do this. I've built these. I know what I'm doing. So I joined Team Treehouse's front end tech degree. I would wake up at like five in the morning to work on it. And then after I got home at like six o'clock, I'd work on it a few more hours. And I was really lucky I had that job at the call center because I could use that as emotional leverage to push myself to work after I got home from work. Because I'd get home and I'd think and say, all right, if I don't do this, I'm gonna have to keep going to this call center and keep answering phone calls. So I'd get home and just think that and then that would give me enough emotional leverage to push myself to sit down and keep coding at the end of the day. After about four months of that, I had a portfolio built up, actually probably about three months, I had a portfolio built up and I started applying to jobs. And over this whole process, I probably had to apply to about a thousand jobs and I only got two interviews. So you're gonna have to apply to a lot of jobs. I'd say about four or five months in, got the first interview. I did pretty good in the actual interview part and then they gave me basically a mock-up of a website, sat me down in a text editor and said, hey, build as much of this as you can in 20 minutes. And I didn't do too good. They even gave me an extra 20 minutes because I was really slow. But a couple weeks later, actually about a week later, I got a call or an email and they said, hey, we're probably going with somebody else. We do have this internship position. It's paid, it's 90 days. 
do you want to do that? And I wanted to, but I couldn't make it work financially because I'd have to move. When I was working at the call center, I worked in Fort Worth, so I lived in Keller. And if I did the internship, I'd have to move to Dallas. My rent would go up 2x pretty much because I was living with a guy on Craigslist. Rent was only like 600 bucks and that included bills and everything. So it was a great setup. Really thankful that guy let me live with him. But if I took this internship position, I'd have to move to Dallas. I'd have to double my rent, sign a one year lease. There's no guarantee I still have a job after 90 days. Pay was about what I was making at the call center. So I just couldn't make it work financially. So I kept working on Team Treehouse, kept studying, kept building projects. Eventually switched to the full stack JavaScript developer tech degree, built about 18 projects, and then about seven months in, I got my second job interview. Oh, you're probably thinking, Garrett, seven months, only one job interview. Were you not discouraged? Were you not, did, you not, did you not want to quit? The answer is no, I didn't want to quit because if I quit, I'd be stuck at that call center. I knew that I could not do that as a career. So the only option I had was to get this down. And I knew that as long as I focused focused on learning code, built more projects and continued learning, it was inevitable that I'd get a job eventually. I didn't know if it'd take like a year or two years, five years, but as long as I kept focusing on this, kept working at it, kept building projects and improving, there was no way I wasn't gonna get a job eventually. But about seven or eight months in, got my second job or second interview at the company I work at now. And they basically called me in, answered some questions, and their code test was, hey, build a button. All right, now put it in these different positions on the page. All right, now style it this way. And it was a pretty easy code test. They basically wanted you to use absolute relative and fixed positioning to like move the button around. I didn't have a super firm grasp on absolute relative and fixed positioning. I made the mistake a lot of developers or a lot of people who are trying to become developers make. I, when I was doing Team Treehouse, I did a few HTML, CSS projects, and then I was like, all right, time to learn JavaScript. And I didn't have a super firm grasp on HTML, CSS. I think if you wanna become a developer, you probably need to build like at least 10, 15 projects in with the HTML and CSS before you move on to JavaScript. But yeah, they wanted you to use absolute relative and fixed positioning and they even kind of broke down how absolute relative and fixed positioning worked for me in the interview. And that helped a lot. That was, I just clicked and I was like, okay, cool. So I can do this. I can make this absolute, this relative, and then put the button here. And it worked. And that was something I think they liked a lot that I could actually apply what they just taught me. Because since I've been working there, we've interviewed a couple people and not many people can do that. And they gave me a tour of the office. It seemed like it'd be an awesome place to work. And I went home and I didn't think I did too good. But about a week later, they called me and they were like, hey, we wanna offer you the job. And this is around like November. I'd started back in like March. So this is about like seven or eight months. But I was super pumped because they called me when I was on my way to work at the call center and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have to do this job anymore. And they were like, hey, when can you start? I said December, because I, I got like a sign-on bonus. And if I left before December, I'd have to pay it back. I was super pumped I got the job put on my two weeks notice and eventually started working at the job I'm at now. I did have imposter syndrome. Those, when I put in my two weeks notice, I was like, all right, what if I start this job and I'm not where they think I'm at? And they're like, oh, you're way farther behind. We have to let you go. Cause this was in Dallas, this was in Plano. And I was gonna have to move for this one as well. But this one I could make work financially. With the imposter syndrome, I said, hey, if I'm not where they think I need to be, I'm gonna do this regardless, but I'm gonna work like 10 hours a day and then I'm gonna come home and code more. And then I'm gonna code in the morning too and just make sure I'm up to where they need me to be. And after the first day, I think I did decent. I was probably about where they thought I was. I was. So I did pretty good and it's, I've just been working there ever since. And now I'm learning React and we're just gonna see where that goes. So yeah, that's kind of my story of how I went from college, working at a call center to web developer. If you have any questions or need any help, let me know in the comments below. I do resume reviews, portfolio reviews. We've got a Discord if you wanna come hang out, talk tech. And I also do monthly projects. So like I give you an XD file. XD is free, so you can just download XD, look at the mock-up, build the project, and get some projects for your portfolio if you wanna become a web developer. I think that's about it. If you want my resume template, send me an email asking for it. The email's in the description. Discord link is in the description. All my socials are in the description if you want to connect on LinkedIn or something like that. And I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.